Hello and welcome to part three of CPPN Technology. We're going to be talking about getting and sharing an email address that is connected to a Google account. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is to think about which email address you'd like to share with the training team. And then you're going to make sure that this email address is connected to a Google account. The reason for this is that all of the consult call and training email is going to be sent to this email address through a Google group. You'll also use this email address to access shared Google resources. So if you'd like, if you know that your email account is already set up with Google, you can just skip this video and go ahead and share that email address with the CPP trainers. If you're not sure, what you can do is go to accounts.google.com and go ahead and enter your email. It, when you hit next, it'll prompt you to log in. And if this is an email address that is connected to Google, you'll come to a screen like this where it'll take you to your Google account. And if it isn't connected, you might see this error message where it says, sorry, Google doesn't recognize that email using that address. But you can go ahead and create an account. And so then you would just click on create an account and it would take you to a screen that looks like this, and you would fill in all the fields scrolling down, and that would connect that email address to a Google account. You can connect any email address to a Google account, and if for some reason you just want to get a new Gmail address or to hook up an old Gmail address that might not have a Google account connected to it, you can just go ahead and click where it says, I would like a new Gmail address right there. Now it's important to keep in mind that the email that you share with the training team is acting like a key and it's the key that accesses the resources. So when you want to get to the resources, the email lists, the Google Drive folders, you need to be logged on to Google using the correct email. Otherwise you have the wrong key and you won't be able to get in. Now to log on to your account, if you happen to have logged off, you would just click on the upper right hand corner and sign in put in your email address and your password. And you can also, an alternative is to go to accounts.google.com and go ahead and sign in that way. Now, after you log in, what you'll typically see is something in the upper right hand corner that might be your picture if you added a picture to your account. Here it's just the initial or a logo if you added that to the account. And you can see which account is connected um, once you logged in. If you'd like to access your Google resources, the easiest way might be through this nine um, square keypad where you can see if you click on it, you'll see Drive, you'll see Calendar, and if you scroll down, you'll see some other Google resources. And that concludes part three of CPP and Technology. If you're ready, you can go ahead and watch part four. Thanks so much.